Hey guys, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe. Welcome back. In this video, we will share what is pure culture technique and what is sea blood technique. Both are different techniques related to grow organism, but we will discuss in the same video. Pure culture in microbiology, a laboratory culture containing a single species of organism. A pure culture is usually derived from a mixed culture. By transferring a small sample into new sterile growth medium in such a manner as to disperse the individual cells across the medium surface or by thinning the sample manifold before inoculating the new medium. Both methods separate the individual cells so that when they multiply, each will form a discrete colony which may then be used to inoculate more medium with the assurance that only one type of organism will be present. There are different methods for pure culture isolation techniques. Number one is a streak plate technique of isolation. Number two is serial dilution. The third one is pour plate or spread plate techniques of isolation. Seed lot technique. Seed lot technique is to store microbial culture for a long time. So the question arises why we are using seed blot techniques for microbial culture. As per USP General Chapter 51 and 1117, seed blot technique is better for maintaining the reference cultures in the laboratory. Seed blot technique used to avoid microbial contamination and cross contamination. To reduce the possibility of phenotypic variations, genetic drifts, mutations and contamination as much as possible the number of passages should be minimized. The recommended passages are not more than 5 passages. Seed law technique to prevent the unwanted drift of properties which might ensure from repeated subcultures or multiple generations. Seed law technique reference strain is subculture to several replicates at one time all of which are with one passage. Stock cultures can be subcultured for reference cultures and working cultures. Reference cultures monthly basis and working cultures weekly basis. Frozen cultures should be stored at minus 30 degrees Celsius or below until use. If it is stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius or below in live lice form. Slants may be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to a week. So this is my little hard work to give you a knowledge related to both techniques. Hope you understand and enjoyed this learning phase. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.